Good boy. Yeah. That's it. I really can't think of a bad adjective to describe Brutus. I mean, high maintenance maybe <laughs> because of his legs. Um, but really, he's just, he's an awesome dog. It's a shame that someone did that to him and, you know, threw a little stick in his spokes. It's usually like where we take a break. I don't know if he'll lay down or what with the grass being all wet and everything. Brutus was bred by somebody down in Canyon City. They left him outside in the cold as a puppy. And when he developed frostbite, they then performed an at-home amputation. Um, based on pictures that we have of him when he was little that was taken by his first family, um, he looks to be, I'm guessing, about six to eight weeks old. Um, they were selling him in a commercial parking lot. I found out about him from a Facebook page that kind of advertises dogs that are looking for foster homes or adoptive homes. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Yes. Yes. Good boy. He could never walk on anything like this. And even this far in grass, but this is a big deal just for him to make it this far. Good boy, buddy. Brutus has a great time when he's inside. On carpet, he gets around very well. But when he goes outside, so if it's grass or on the street, he is very hesitant to walk. So Laura just uh, basically what she wants is him to be able to go for a regular walk. Dogs are meant to be inquisitive, active creatures, and to have that taken away from him and force him essentially to live um, on carpeting only, we didn't think that was fair. Good boy, buddy. <laughs> well, at this point, we don't really wear them very often. We're just getting used to him being in them. There are still adjustments that have to be made to them. Um, but we're working with CSU to find out what is working with his gait and what isn't. Oh, yes. This is his shortest leg here, this one, and he kind of holds it up when he stands. Now you can see him run around like a normal dog. So it's like seeing this and seeing the potential for what he can do and how well he can get around. You know, my hope is that as we do the physical therapy, as the technology improves, you know, as the adjustments are made, he's going to be able to do what he does in these two rooms out there as well. Good boy.